guys, and welcome back to another episode of Remembering Forgotten Memories. And full disclosure that this one technically isn't my story so much as it's my sister's story that I happen to remember <laughs> being on the sidelines of and watching going, hmm, <laughs> over at the time back when this was going on. So this was not anything recent. This was years ago now. I think my sister was either in middle school or maybe like the very start of high school at most, but I think possibly younger than that. So she and her friends used to go to like this Christian summer camp every year. No, I cannot speak on what it was like because I never went to it myself. She went to it. You'd have to take it up with her. Hopefully she won't kill me for telling this story, but I randomly remembered it like a week or two ago and was like telling somebody about it just because I was like, it was so random, I forget what even reminded me. And they're like, you should do this on that series you do. I was like, you're right, I should. So, forgive me if I either get the details wrong or if you're like, how dare you tell my story? But anyway, uh, so they went to the summer camp every year and it was weird by her own admission in hindsight. Like every year, very strange. Certain things on YouTube she's shown me about this place. Definitely eyebrow-raising, side-eye-inducing, but not, like, bad so much as just weird. <laughs> but anyway, um, so she'd go there with her friends and everything. They would, like, save up and do their fundraisers the whole school year and then go to that for a couple weeks or however long it was. And she loved it at the time, so it is what it is. She loved getting to go to this with her friends. But this one year... She comes back with a box that's like about shoebox size. It probably was a shoebox that they had like painted and decorated. I was like, oh, what's the box? And she goes, oh, it's my pet potato. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Run that past me again. She's like, oh, this is William, my pet potato. William the potato. And before anyone in the VC says it, no, this was years ago and I did not come up with this name. I actually had to ask her, hey, remember when you had that pet potato? Super random. What was his name? Swear to God, she told me it's William. Anyway, so, <laughs> William the potato. Um, don't know why. She to this day cannot tell me why either. She doesn't know. Just, it was his name. She's like, oh yeah, it's my pet potato. My friends and I have shared custody of him. What? <laughs> like, on top of pet potato, but I'm sorry, what? <laughs> so, decorated box, they made it a bed inside the box and everything. I guess this is like the Gen Z version of the pet rock. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not here to judge. I was just like, okay, all right. You and William have fun. And I thought it was just like her being weird, but no, no, no. Her friends would like come over for sleepovers and trade off who had the potato. It was, like, a whole ass thing. And I remember there was, like, one sleepover they had. Because a lot of times they'd leave the door open. They weren't exactly quiet. They were basically, like, doing their own iteration of, like, Maury Povich with, like, the paternity tests. For the potato. They hauled a whole ass sack of potatoes from the kitchen upstairs to paternity test the potato. Which, I mean, in hindsight, I'm like, you know what? Gold star for creativity. Gold fucking star for creativity. I I can't even knock that. I can't even knock that. That's hilarious. But, like, and I think that was the thing that randomly made me think of the other day, was remembering that. And I was like, I don't even know. I don't even know. But there was like all these weird ass things with the potato and they came up with like the potato's backstory and lore about the potato and his whole character and his life story. I think they even like let him have a potato baby at a certain point. I, I just, this was a whole ass thing. And like they would trade off who had it. Like I don't remember what the length of time was. It could have been day to day for all I freaking know that they gave the box back and forth at school between them. Was it weird? Yeah. Was it also hilarious as the sibling who's 14 years older watching this shit go down? Fuck yes. But anyway, 
<laughs> so this went on and on and on for what felt like freaking forever. Until apparently my sister misplaced William and the whole ass box he was in. And that was the last I heard about it for like two years. Yeah. It wasn't until there all of a sudden was like a horrible, horrible odor in her room and she was trying to figure out what the hell is that? And it was like tearing the room apart trying to figure out where is that coming from? And she happened upon the box. And she opened the box. Oh, God! It smells like something died in there. And anyone who has ever smelled a rotting potato will never forget that smell. It's not the only time I've ever smelled when we have occasionally had, like, a sack of potatoes that, like, got buried in the back of the pantry that got forgotten about. And we've had it happen a couple times on top of this. So I know that smell entirely too well. But, oh, God, it is bad. So she opens it, and it's like half liquefied. It's got like maggots. It's got just, oh, it was like a whole thing. And she had to like give him a funeral and throw him away. And mentioned it to her friends that William died. And they're like, oh, we replaced William a long time ago, but because you lost him, you didn't get to be part of it. Which is typical, like, middle schooler slash early high schooler logic, I guess. <laughs> but, like, like, the of my friends at the same age, like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> that checks out, actually. But, oh my god, just uh, the whole ass thing. And she would, like, still mention the potato from time to time. And I think one of their friends, as a consolation thing afterwards, like, gave her a Polaroid of the new potato, or we're like, here. You can have this as a keepsake. If you lose this, it won't matter. It's literally just a Polaroid of a freaking potato. It says William on it. That's it. That's the whole story. But it's just like, it's so random. But at the same time, have I done stupid shit equally to that? Of course. Many times. Much worse so. But like, it was so oddly specific that it was like, William the potato <laughs> and the paternity test and the whole story, the whole shebang that went with it is what made it. <laughs> so I wish I could remember more of what the lore was. She doesn't either for what it's worth. It's fine. I'm surprised she was able to remember its name. It took her a minute to remember its name, but yeah, <laughs> that is the story of William the potato. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed that. If you did, go ahead and give this a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon so you know everyone's not low. Leave comments down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my eBay, my Reddits, everything and more. It's all down below. And if you'd like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. Get your name on the end card for a month from the time of donating. Anyway, guys, till next time, see ya.